Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to look at in this video is something that I am super excited about. So in the past, we have used Grandstream PBXs in some pretty large installations. So we have some UCM 6308s that have a thousand plus handsets and it, it works pretty well. But what happens when you get to the high end of what of what one of those can do or what a 6304 can do and you want to put these in some big installations grandstream has thought of that and in an upcoming firmware we're actually going to be able to create clusters of pbx's now what does that mean and why would you want to do it well instead of relying on a single physical pbx we're going to be able to pool the resources of up to five pbx's right so let's take a look at this uh, this firmware note. So this is in the latest beta. Users can now expand the calling capabilities of their UCM by pooling together resources of up to five additional UCMs under the same switch and network segment, allowing the system to essentially handle more calls and meeting participants. To create a cluster, user, users will need to assign one UCM as the main business server and at least one other UCM as the media server. So I'm going to show you this. So here is the cluster configuration, and we are we are going to have to uh, get a couple 6304s and do this. Right now, uh, the biggest uh, PBX that I have here is a 6302. But you can see that we've got this page here, and it can either be a business media or the, uh, the media server. So the, the business server is going to kind of be the front end where we're going to log into to manage the system. So that's what you're used to right now. You'll have a user interface, you'll log in, you'll configure everything. Well, the media server is, those media servers will give, use their resources to allow more calls, more video conferencing, and all of those things to take place. And you can see here that you can add multiple media servers right here. And if we go down, so obviously you can enable the media cluster, and then you have to you know, have the device role. And the business server, that is the main UCM that is the business, the business, the front end, the UI, where you're logging in, that is the main PBX. And then the media servers, that's where we're going to use their resources, and all of the PBX features are disabled because we are basically – using those in the cluster. So I am absolutely excited about this. And you can set thresholds. As you can see here, you can set different different thresholds. So, you know, once it hits like the CPU or the call control, then, you, you know, you can tell it once it hits this percentage, then start pulling resources from another box in the cluster. This is going to be... This is a game changer. Um, and you can see here, you have configuring the UCM as a media server instead, select media server. And then all you do on the media server configuration is you tell it where the business server IP and port is. I mean, this is, I can't even tell you what this is going to, I mean, I can tell you. This is going to allow us to go into places that have a lot more than a thousand phones. It's going to allow us to go into places with super high call volume with lots of trunks and things like that. And we're going to be able to put these clusters in and replace uh, traditional systems that have that super high scalability. So now we are now there with that, that large scalability with the Grandstream UCMs. And I'm super excited about that. And if uh, you're excited about it too, let me know down in the comments. As soon as I get a couple 6304s, we will be configuring this. And there's a few other things that they've added to the firmware that I'm really excited about. Um, and if you read through the notes, you can probably see what it is, along with bug fixes and things like that. And they've been awesome at, at doing that. So like I said, as soon as I get a couple 6304s, this is one thing that we are absolutely going to do. And if you like this video and you can't wait to see that, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with affiliate links and a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com.
Come fill out the contact form there on the front page, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Also, come on over to community.willyhow.com. Sign up. It's our online community. We're building a community there. There is, at some point, going to be some free learning content there that you can't get anywhere else. So come on over, sign up, share your expertise, ask your questions. We are building a, a community, and that's really what it's all about. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.